Hello and welcome to this episode of Frankie's Cultural Observations. Today we're going to be tackling one of the most interesting mysteries of all time, goths. People think goths are depressed, but it's not true, even if they do have a strange obsession with skulls and corpses. If goths really hated, don't touch me. If goths really hated life, then why do they take a self-care hour every morning to do makeup that makes them look like they're dead? Goths have double D's, Doc Martens and daddy issues. When Goths aren't appropriating Japanese culture or pretending that they like listening to The Cure just because they wear similar makeup or sending random foot pics to strangers on the internet for money, they're tirelessly fighting against the Goth stereotype. Whenever a Goth gets into an argument about how their subculture is mischaracterized in the media, Marilyn Manson converts an innocent child to Satanism. In today's society, it's incredibly rare to spot a goth in public. Everyone thinks goths disappeared with the death of the hair straightener back in 2011. But goths never died. You just don't see them anymore because they stay indoors. Goths are only allowed to socially interact with other goths, and perhaps the occasional emo. Which is why, for the first time in human history, as a non-goth, I've pierced the veil. Goths have finally let me into their kink dungeon. Goths think being an anarchist that believes in atheism and writing edgy, nihilistic poetry about death is a sufficient personality type. Goths don't know how Christmas works. They think being wholesome is just some stupid phase that their capitalist pig parents are going through. People think Goths are scary, but they're actually harmless. Goths can only understand basic human emotions through metaphors of anime plot lines. So that there is like a joke where I'm, I'm kind of saying like that gods don't understand like deep emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't Thank know. you. <laughs> gods have a morbid fascination with black magic, even though the only spell they've ever successfully cast was summoning their father's disappointment when they started wearing eyeliner at the age of 12. Gods are highly intelligent. Their high levels of knowledge makes them have a low tolerance towards stupidity. Their spiritual frustration to stop looking at me. Their spiritual frustration towards those that they deem as basic or mainstream often comes to the surface in the sound of loud sighs or visible eye rolls, which is the only emotion that gods ever show. The marginalization of gods that don't wear black has been going on since time immemorial. Look at this woman beside me. She's a got. And she's not wearing black. Hello, I'm not a god. I'm a Rolling Stones head. And here we go. La 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 la. Get the fuck out of my video. 